in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to redo the example I did from the previous video, just with a slight change. Um, so again, we're building up a confidence interval for a true mean, where sigma, the population standard deviation, is unknown. Uh, previously, we've gotten the t-score. That feeds into building up our margin of error. There's that formula. Um, and we use t.inf, and then before that t.inf.2t in the previous video. Now, what I want to do is show you a slightly different way of doing this, where we no longer need this t-score. Let's just gray that out. It's still valid, it's still correct, but there's a slightly quicker way. We can use the confidence.t formula. And what that actually builds up is the margin of error. So we don't actually need to go get the t-score. We can just use this confidence.t formula, put in our alpha. Remember, alpha is just the area to the outsides of the confidence interval. So if we have a 90% confidence interval, alpha is 10% for the remaining area. Um, so in confidence.t, put in first the alpha, then the standard deviation, which is this guy right here for our sample. And then, a little bit different, we put in the sample size. In all of the other t-score formulas, we put in what's called the degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1. Funny enough, don't know why Excel programmed it this way, but in confidence.t, we put in the actual sample size which is the 400 in this case. And that also gives us our margin of error, which we then go and add and subtract from our mean to get our lower and upper bounds for our confidence interval. So that's all the same as before. You just take your sample mean, subtract your error to get your lower limit. Sample mean plus your error gets your upper limit. And that gives you your bounds here for your confidence interval, which gives you um, the range that your true average length will be between. If we show a couple more decimals here, we can get even more precise if you want. That's actually, well, it keeps going, but um, yeah, we can get a little bit more precise. So our, our actual true average bolt length is somewhere between 6.62495 and 0.62526 inches in length. Um, and again, just to circle back, so that margin of error calculation can be done all in one using a confidence dot t formula instead of just getting a t-score and then plugging it in. Okay, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.